let's pretend that my library board would like a place on the web, on it on its page to put agendas and meeting documents, maybe some policies. So I'm going to show you how to link a document. And just remember, there's a million ways to get things done on your website, building on the front end, building on the back end, opening up the function module, the, the settings on each module on the front end versus the back end. So really the biggest piece of advice I can give to you is take what I show you with a grain of salt and devote maybe 10 minutes every now and then, especially now, you know, during office hours to play with your website. Okay, so Let's hop in. We're pretending that this is a library board page and I am showing how to hyperlink documents. So I am going to add in a text module and you should already have text modules on your library board pages if you have a library board page. So let's say that this is going to be agendas and uh, documents. Remember, let's pretend that there's a title right above it as a header one, so I'm going to make this a header two. And you can see the work I'm doing on the right inside the functions box are being immediately reflected on the page on the left. I like working like this because then I can see it in action and having the settings box open so I can have all of my controls. Now sometimes, if you already have a text box on a page, you can click into the text box like this and start doing things here. Well, I always feel like a fish out of water if I don't have all of my controls. So I like to hover over the area I'm editing, click on the settings wheel, and have the controls open. Now, you'll take a look at the settings area in the text module and realize that it very is very similar to an email product um, generator. So here's what we're going to do. I don't know if the Demer library has any agendas in their folder that I have for them, so I'm going to make some stuff up. So today is February 18th. 2021 and let's pretend that this is the uh, that there's a board meeting tonight I'm adding the agenda so you can just like you would in a word document or an email exchange you have these controls here so I'm going to put it as an unlisted list or an unordered list excuse me that's what they call the bullet list so what I'm doing is I just entered text here and I click Add Media. Now I don't see any documents in here, so I'm going to bring in our agenda. I'm going to select Files. I'm going to go to my Downloads area and find a couple documents. Now the first thing I'm going to tell you is never upload a Word doc to your website. If you are adding a document to your website, you want it to be a PDF. The, the reason being, it's very easy to download a Word document and change it at will. But if you're putting an agenda on your website, you need to have it as a PDF so that it can't be manipulated when it's downloaded. So let's see here. <sighs> Here's some library minutes, and it's a PDF. If I hover over the file, it'll tell you it's a PDF, or if the title is short enough of the document, it will show the file type at the end. And I'm going to click Open. Now remember, it's really important to give something a title, so what I'm going to do is give it a title. So I'm going to give it a title. Now remember, alternative text and title are the most important thing. However, I am not being offered an alternative text area here. So I'm going to click Select. 
Now, the reason I probably was not offered an alternative text field is there are some updates needed on here, and it's a brand new website, so chances are it's an older version of Divi that needs to be updated. Ignore it. Okay, it linked. Now, let's say that I start typing here, and this is what I want it to say here, hippopotamus. And then I want to link a document to it. So I go back up in here. This is the document I want to link to it. This is the title of the document. I hit select. Hey, it changed my hippopotamus to February 18. So what you can do is highlight it and click the earn, insert edit link. And the text to display is what you would change. So maybe you put the title of the document here and hip, you know, click here, which I don't like, but we're going to use it as that. You can also choose for a document to open up on a new tab on your screen or have it replace the browser that is open. If it's an attachment to a page, like an agenda that will take it away from the website, I always do a new window. Gina knows what I'm talking about. I'm going to click Save. So, now we have two things linked to the website. So when I click Save and I exit the Visual Builder and I scroll down, we're pretending that we're on a library board page and here's the area where we're adding agendas and documents. You can see the one where I added it as its title name and another one where I changed the text that displays to say whatever I want. And when I clicked on it, it popped up a new screen here. See that? It did not take, the, the first one I did not change so it took me off of the website. Darn it. But here, I can click on the second one that I set to bring up a new tab so I'm not taken away from the web page. Now, why do I not like the terminology click here? Standard website practice is to link to text rather than saying, this is the text's name, and click here. And that's because with the, the development of the, or the growth, or the maturation of the internet, this practice has gone away. So if I want to, if I want to point you to a resource, I'm talking about that resource already, so why wouldn't I hyperlink the name of the resource? And here's an example. So did you know that you can find all website office hour dates and meeting links on the WVLS calendar? So here, I'm obviously wanting them to go to the WVLS calendar. I'm going to say go to the WVLS calendar. Then I'm going to go to WVLS.org. I'm going to head over to the calendar and steal the, the page name or the URL. So then, if I wanted to hyperlink to an actual text, then I highlight the words I want. I click Insert or Edit Link. I paste in the URL, and I say, I want it to open a new window. Remember, you want to keep it on your home. You want to keep one window open of your website and open up a new tab of the other desired page. The other thing I want to, you know, and I'm just building this website now, so it's very rough. But the one thing I want to point out is there needs to be contrast if you have a hyperlink. Okay? So if you hover over text and it's linked, you get the clickable mouse icon. However, there's not too much contrast here, right? So what you can do to change the hyperlink color is go to Theme Customizer at the top of your screen. And this is something I can do for you because you'll hardly ever do it, if at all. Because usually I've already done it for you. So this is all of the typography controls. And if you scroll down here, it shows you 
a body link color. So I could make this really cool and make it purple. Okay. So when I click publish and then I exit, this text should turn purple. Super cool. Now, if that doesn't go with your color scheme, you could change it to something else. So I'll show you that again. I clicked theme. I hovered over the name of my library up on the top left. I went down to theme customizer. And then I will scroll down to general settings, typography, and find body link color. Right now it's purple, but I think it'd be fun to try a burnt orange. So let's see that. The other way you could super differentiate and denote a hyperlink in your text is to bold it if there's not enough contrast. But I feel like there is here. So are you guys feeling satisfied with that quick run through? Are you ready to move on to donations? I see some head nods. Perfect. I see a yup. Awesome. Okay. Uh, Gina, were you satisfied by that run through there of your question for the click here? Yeah, I've heard you talk about it before and it, it interests me and I want to get better at doing that in especially in emails and newsletters and things. Right. And sometimes it's appropriate to have it fully linked out, you know, have the actual link in there, but that's very rare. Click here is very rare. Um, I could show you an example, but it's a tender subject right now. So um, I'll try and find another example for